What is going on, guys? Pyro night. Pyro night. It's going to be a pyro night. We're streaming in you as well. What's going on, everybody? We got Global coming in here. Are you here, Global? Check, check. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Speaking of rapping, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that uh, streamer Inu has some connections with Def Jam. Maybe they can get me in there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Absolutely. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to be speaking for uh, streamer. I don't okay. Know if it's Cope or somebody else. So we may have to wait till somebody steps up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Hold on, I'm going to send a message on their. Um, okay. Send a message on their streamer that it's live. Streamer. Yeah, I do remember streaming. They had some, like, right before the market changed, they were having some tremendous momentum. Um, I do remember that. And um, they do have some pretty good connections in terms of uh, of their deal. I like what they stand for because they're kind of they're more focused on that... Uh, that Twitch, um, helping donations to streamers. Um, so yeah, yeah, that'd be good. They got a good community too. Doesn't seem so. Doesn't seem so crypto-y, you know. No, nah, not really. <laughs> token, to, you, you know what I mean? It's not so like token or token. This, this, this. Same, 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 same. It's like, hey, we got a, we got a mission. They actually got you real, know? like, they got connections with. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're more on the. Uh, on the side of helping other people and have got uh, partnerships and connections. So I think at, out of Dubai, is that right? Dubai? I believe so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give me a second here. I'm just going to see if I can send a link. Okay. I sent the, tw- I sent the link. So I'm not really sure if anybody is. From streamer that that is going to be uh, speaking uh, wants to speak. Go ahead and raise your hand. We can let you in here. So yeah, we'll let them. We'll let them pour in. I'm, I'm expecting at least ten thousand listeners worldwide. Is that somewhere where you were thinking? Hey, more the better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't. I can't imagine that. But maybe one day. You never know. Well, on our yeah. last stream, we had. Um, I think we had end up having close to eight hundred that actually tune into Twitter. So uh, we really? almost had a thousand. Yeah, cause we the replay that really did it. People came back in, listened to the replay. Um, I didn't know you recorded the last one. I thought we missed it. Was yeah, it I recorded it. Was... Oh, you did. did? Yeah, this one too. Yeah, I record them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I never heard. I never even heard the last one. I was yeah. looking for it. I was gonna post it, and then someone asked, and I said, "Oh no, I think we forgot to record it." Oh yeah, definitely. So, this, yeah, it was recorded. Yeah. Uh, dang, yeah. I didn't realize there was that many people. That many That's people. Crazy. Yeah, it's, it's the replay, so I think it's more over time. Uh, people, uh, I think you know, just kind of check it out. You know. Yeah. Okay, somebody's. I think there's uh, streamers requesting to speak. So, oh, I see. Yeah, this is Cove. There you go. Oh, you can give him the floor. Hello, hello. Cove, go ahead. Good evening, everybody. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you guys for inviting us to. Yeah, your your sound yeah. is a little bit um, a little bit faint. I don't know. You might want to turn it up a little bit or get a little closer. I'm I'm actually using my headset. Are you? you oh, can you I still see. Not hear okay. me? No, we can hear okay. you. It just seems a little soft. So. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah. Adam, what's up, man? We're good. What's going on? Long time. Hey, I just want to put a note out there since this is being recorded that 
I'm pretty sure Adam was the first ever person to actually publish a review on Streamer Inu the same day or the next day that it launched. I didn't know Adam yeah. back then. One of my whales was like, hey, I know Adam. I think we should get him. And, and you know, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, cool, let's get him. And, um, you know, I think it was in three hours you were done. And I was shocked. <laughs> and he sent me the video after three hours. Like, Adam finished it. And at first, yeah. at first, I thought it was just going to be, you know, just scrolling through the website and reading it out loud and that's it. No, no, no. You, no. you don't only go into details of the holder base and the price and the taxes and everything, but you were hyped up. You just gave it the energy and stuff. I mean, I, seriously, I applauded you that day, Adam. And from that day, yeah. I, I never forgot you. So thank you for that. No problem. Yeah, I mean... Um... I was excited about the Datambi and still is because it was something different in the space. And I wanted to make sure the, the viewers knew what exactly what this was all about. So, you know, I, and, and the reviews, I try to put more into it because the most of it just scroll down and this. I try to really highlight the points and the benefits of like getting involved and things like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I do remember. Yeah, I'm just looking it up. This was like... <clears throat> yeah, I, I think appreciate the opportunity. Uh, hey man, <clears> at the time, the video. we we you know we came a long way since then. But thank you for that. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It, it yeah, it was the first video. You're right. It was the first video, and then uh, then your pop I think was next. I think, and uh, but yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, fun times. Yeah, yeah I absolutely. <laughs> I went back yeah. and looked at some of the. I went look, went back to look at some of the content on YouTube, and uh, and you guys had a had a hell of a launch and run there for a while. Um, you know, yes, I was That's looking true. at. I was, I, you know, I I ran across Sturmer you knew uh, back in the day because I'm, you know, I know Austin and and I watched all of his videos and I remember seeing it and he seemed you know pretty hyped about it and then I definitely remember the Your Pop one. And, uh, and then Jake Gagan kind of followed. I see, you know, Adam had a connection. I'm like, man, look at this. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so how's everything going? What, uh, tell me about your, like, you know, tell me about Streamer Inu and, and, uh, what you guys are up to right now. Like, when was the launch and a little bit of the background stuff, just so, uh, anybody that's listening from the Pyro community, Ring of Pyro community, uh, can, can hear what's going on. We'd love to hear it. Oh, absolutely. I, I, you know, I'd be honored. First of all, thank you very much, you guys, for inviting us up here and um, giving us uh, a platform to spread the word about Streamer Inu and why we're all so very excited about it, even though we are beyond our hype phase and even though we're, I'd say, six, seven months old. And I'm very proud of that. It's a very long time for a project to still exist in this space, to have so many people still believing in it fighting for it every single day regardless of the world condition regardless of the crypto conditions and um we're just so excited for this so thank you um we launched back in feb uh i think feb 25 if i'm not mistaken and we yeah. were yes. we were we were going along you know the hype train back then of the charity tokens where we would donate to a specific demographic and we would commit to that demographic and keep supporting them no matter what. Um, we chose streamers, hence the name Streamer Eater. Now, of course, a lot of people, you know, back then, even now, still don't like the EU name a lot. You know, they always think it as it's not a very serious coin, it's just a meme thing, it's just for fun, just cute, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But we really had a mission and that mission kept evolving and growing the more we expanded and the bigger that we got. So we started off as just donating to streamers live on camera. It really gave us that kind of Mr. Beast vibe that, you know, you know, Oprah and Ellen, how you're giving back to people, you're seeing them freak out on camera. It's all live, not scripted. They have no idea what the hell is going on. They don't even- This was done on, this was done on Twitch, right? This was done on Twitch. We tried YouTube as well, Facebook, but yeah, Twitch was the best reaction we ever got. And right. what was fun is that most of these folks forgot that they set up a donation link in crypto. 
and they had they set it up like two three years ago and nobody ever donated crypto to them so when we were the first people to donate crypto it was like double the reaction it's not like oh my god they just gave me 200 dollars it's like they just gave me 0.05 ethereum and they were freaking out and like ethereum i've never thought i had ethereum stuff like that i'm now part of this cool club crypto um, it was fantastic, and that just kept going on and on and on. We kept exploring new communities, new um, people, new sections in streaming. It's not just gaming. There's a lot of music. There's a lot of art. There's a lot of comedy. There's just a lot of talent out there, which you know grew our vision even more because we didn't want to be labeled as a charity token because you don't invest in charity. You donate to charity. And so that's not really incentive for anybody to invest in a token that just does charity. <clears throat> so we expanded on that idea and we turned it into a business where we would monetize our social media and our net, uh, and um, our streaming uh, platforms because of the content that we're generating is so gold. Those, if Mr. Beast was able to do it when he was 15 years old, I'm pretty sure we can follow that, you know, business plan, but in a crypto aspect and not just your regular PayPal or bank transfer aspect. And so we came up with the business plan, we uploaded on our website and we started pushing it. And it, you know, briefly kind of mentions that, let's say we earn $100,000 from anything, whether advertising, whether monetizing YouTube, whatever it is. And Adam, you're a content creator, you know that you can monetize all these platforms. And so yes. once you get <laughs> once you get $100,000, we split it up, right? We put it in 35% in buybacks of the tokens so that the holders and the price keeps going up. We said that we're probably going to be doing 25% in USDT dividends for the whales. So a whale in streamer Inu is 1% and above. And so insensitive for you to hold streamer Inu and not worry during the bear market, we are going to be rewarding you USDT returns because you're holding a certain percentage of the supply. That, that, hence, you're probably going to get your capital back with a lot of profits on an ongoing process. And then we're going to allocate then certain percentages for operation and other promotional stuff. Therefore, once that stream of revenue starts coming in, you take out the taxes that are in place right now. Because, you know, once you reach a point where it's so sustainable, you don't really need taxes anymore. You're already having multiple sources of revenue that <clears throat> taxes can be removed or reduced substantially. So we started off with taxes around... 26 percent 13 on buys 13 on sales then we took them down to 20 and ever since btc crash we really wanted to encourage uh you know huddling and chatting and stuff like that so we made it zero buy tax and 20 percent on the sales and we are going to keep reducing it until we reach hopefully an optimal goal of five percent or even lower as a total in taxes and one of the things, one of the major things along this way that we have stumbled upon was a very great friendship and relationship with multiple important people, including folks over at Dev Jam in New York, over people with VH1 in Paramount. And we really came up with this idea. It was a crazy idea, to be honest with you. But the more that we got into it, the more it made sense. Is that, why would you wanna only focus on monetizing your YouTube and your Twitch? The content that you're creating, the entire idea of streamer radio, the, the reactions, the crypto payments, the people involved, the crypto community, the telegram, uh, the apes, the charts, everything, everything that, that defines streamer radio is something that is so entertaining that what if you would also monetize a TV show? And I'm not gonna lie to you, when that idea first sparked a few months ago, and you know, I'm someone who prides himself to be a creative, I kind of struggled to understand how that would look like, you know? Because it's easy for me to say, all right, we're gonna donate to streamers, we're gonna record 
their reactions. We're going to upload it on TikTok. We're going to upload it on YouTube. And we're going to start monetizing those platforms and getting money. But to turn it into a show, I mean, I know our content is great, but into a TV show and, and nevertheless, a crypto TV show. How on earth would a crypto TV show even look like, you I've never seen anything like that. It, it, there, there's no such thing as, as a crypto TV show. I think any crypto uh, content right now on Netflix or Amazon Prime or Hulu or HBO or wherever it may be, it's about some sort of a scam or some sort of um, someone stole something or a mystery or a sad story or whatever it is. So I, I didn't know how a TV show would look like. But then when we started planning it out and when we started choosing our cast and when we started actually shooting it, everybody who came on set to shoot this, everybody was skeptical. Everybody. But when we were actually on the, you know, on the floor and we were doing it, it hit everyone. It was like, oh, now I see where this is going. Oh, are we actually going to do this? Are, are you legitimately telling me this is going to, this is, this actually works? And that was like the odd moment where everybody was finally felt that they were part of something very special. And so we shot a pilot for a crypto reality TV show inspired yeah. by everything that, that we were man. with. I've had That's awesome. The, I've had a few times in the chat where I've I've kind of reenacted different moments in, in your crypto life, like when you're trying to like ape into something in the middle of the night and your Uniswap thing won't go through and you're like, oh God, I'm never gonna get I'm never gonna be able to get this at this price, you know? It's like something probably similar to that, I'm guessing. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'll tell you something. I don't want to spoil a lot of things, but right now what we're doing, we've been sharing some stuff with our DAO um, because uh, it realistically, when, you know, what we shot, the kind, the kind of content that we shot, as much as I would love to publish it out there for everybody to watch, but in order to get the best deal from a network, whether it's VH1, whether it's Netflix, whether it's Amazon Prime, whatever it's Hulu, whatever it is, they would want to maintain the exclusivity of the content. So we can't, you know, it's best to not publish anything. And so we're kind of keeping it into private screening um, uh, in our DAO group. But I would, uh, I do hope that once we have a full complete product within the next few days, I would very much like to actually, you know, go out on AMAs and share screens. And have, Adam, if you're down for it, we can post a live YouTube channel with your audience and we can actually show everybody. What sure. A, a crypto absolutely a crypto tv would look like because i mean seriously how can you turn something financial into something entertaining it's entertaining for us because we're always the ones behind the screens trading and seeing ether scan and stuff like that but for the public for the 99 percent of the world that is not in crypto how do you make something so easy and entertaining and yes i mean the thing is if they can turn they can turn people playing video games and you just watch them play video games mm-hmm. into, into money then you know I, I think this idea sounds like a, a fantastic deal you know it's one of those random doors that you go kick open and, you, and all of a sudden you wake up the next day and it's something massive so yeah I, I could I could see it working and, and that's what that, what that's why we're so excited about this global because aside from showing the actual crypto life it's not just hacking it's not just scamming it's not just there's just so much to it and then number two you're showing the streaming side of it you're showing all these singers all these comedians all these cuts or all, all these individuals motivational speaker everybody hopping on their own stream every single day streaming whatever their content is showing how that can be mixed with crypto and then you have people over at dev jam on the cast and supporting you so if you actually do find a good singer you have all the resources you need to take that singer and turn them into the next justin bieber because that's how justin bieber was found some random kid on youtube an executive found him and now 10 years later he's a pop culture icon we can recreate that with crypto and on a reality TV, we have all the resources we need, 
and that's what makes it even more exciting more real life it's not just numbers it's not just fake internet money it is real life shit and that's really mind blowing to all of us and so hence you know back to the original revenue scheme that we have on our website this deal gets done this show gets shot whether it's season one, two, three, four, it doesn't even matter. <clears throat> Money coming from the show goes back into the coin, buybacks, adding liquidity, burning all the. I know you guys, I know you guys are burning here. So burning all of it together, it's like every single amazing project last year. If anybody was in crypto last year, back in October of last year, or even earlier in June and July. Yeah, they're, we've talked they're, about it many times in our streams, you know. Yeah. Was cr- if you were they're, like, man, if you weren't if you weren't in it last year when that thing popped, it was like you were just holding on by the by the seat of your by the seat of your pants. You know what I mean? Because every time <laughs> you turned around, it was like pop, 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 pop. Each thing were going around everywhere. And, the, and the, crazy. I, I think the last it's gonna happen again. Project. Oh, oh it's yeah, gonna happen again. Oh, you bet your ass is gonna happen again. But what I'm trying to say is that previously, you know, the la- last year, the last quarter, a lot of the projects that were hyped up that people loved, you know, the projects that used to use their marketing walls of treasury, they would stake uh, or, you know, they would uh, put up their money to kind of get rewards and do buybacks or just put up a, a huge tax and do buybacks and burn them. All those, you know, great ideas that got a lot of people hyped up, but eventually they had to die because they were only relying on crypto volume. So whether it was staking, whether it was buybacks for the marketing wallet, it, it was because of the crypto volume. If you remove the crypto volume, such in a bear market that we are in right now, those coins become obsolete. And so those same ideas that made people rally up, we took those ideas, but we removed from the equation crypto volume and we added corporate volume entertainment volume which frankly never goes down so that's that's the that's the approach that we're going with and i like it yeah no you're right i mean you have the entertainment volume it's the root it's one of the reasons in a way that we're all just sitting here right now on a friday night you know for, for entertainment to listen yep. to hear the news to see absolutely what, to see what's going on you know and i mean you couldn't have hit it more on the head about the fact that uh, you know the tokens that that had to do with the burns, which you know clearly that's our initiative right now is the burns is is having the contracts that preceded us that were kind of you know the grandfather, if you will, or, or the beginning of a of a wave. Uh, we, we feel like you know that's where we're heading in a in the same direction, but but enhanced. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, and the new pyro contract, you know about it. You know exactly what's going on with Ring of Pyro and. Uh, yeah so no the uh, the idea the, and the, the things that you guys got going on are great and you know i i think it's always a misconception not a misconception but just a bad idea sometimes to look at a project that you know that has gone up and then it's gone back down it's kind of sitting kind of where we're at or where you guys are at or where many other tokens in the space are at right now but when you get people like yourself and your team and your community that you know they're out you guys are on a mission you know what i mean you have a completely different direction than a lot of the tokens that are out there and um you can you can see that for sure so it definitely caught my attention back in the day when when austin and all the guys were talking about it it's really great to hear you uh, talk about it more and, and hear that you guys are still going hard and got uh, new plans to be honest with you <laughs> what Thanks, you brought up man, earlier is like super bullish about about having a, 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 sh- a show to actually watch that's insane that's a new ct maybe that's you know that's not crypto twitter but it's crypto tv i thought you yeah know, we're gonna yeah this basic we're, we're, stream we're gonna be the, the, C- the ctv you know ctv yeah, yeah. i love uh, this bring it on bring it on I think it's a great idea with the entertainment and educating and just the whole reality of it. Absolutely. It's definitely room for that. Well, I no question. Already, I know you're already shooting, but, but how do we get to be a part of the uh, Pyro? Uh, how does Pyro get to be a part of the CTV? <laughs> well, I mean, we, we already finished shooting back um, I th- uh, July 25 or, or earlier. I forgot, maybe 15th. 
Uh, uh-huh. But we already finished shooting. So we shot a pilot. We shot a sizzler. We're editing that right now. It was almost done. We kept sharing some sneak peeks in the chat. Um, and the DAO have already seen a scene, uh, a full, you know, produced scene by professionals. And uh, we're going for a 10 minute super trailer. So, you know, network execs do not have the time or, you know, they are not going to sit around and see a 40 minute episode because they get way too many pitches every single day. So we're, ke- we're going to keep it with 10 and then we're going to go around the U.S. and shop the show and then get a deal. And then boom, that's when we officially start shooting a season one completely written from scratch. So, you know, until that point happens, I'll let you guys know. But if it does matter for you, we actually also have a burn function in our contract. Now, it's not as big as Pyro, but we're very proud that we've already burned around 15, 16% of the supply. Yeah, so, well, it, I'm, glad, I'm, glad that you brought, I'm glad that you brought that up. I did notice that you do have a, you do have a burn a function in your contract. You've already burned, what, uh, 156 million out of your 1 billion tokens, which is 15.6% of your total so yes. sitting there in the in the dead wallet and uh, yeah I mean you know that was one of the reasons why we wanted to talk I think in general um, I think the environment over the last like couple years has just always been so I don't know if it's divisive or, or where you have like uh, oh this is my token and this is my community and everybody has to stay away and I think one of the things that I really want to try to do is as being a uh, you know what I feel like as a, a leader of the um, pyro token is is just reaching out to other people in the space and seeing what they're doing and, and, and talking and just opening up and being like you know what we got there's plenty of room for all of us you know we're at the beginning stages of crypto anyways there's plenty of room let's see where we can all talk and collaborate and add you know put together ideas and what we can do to help each other and um you know we've already uh, talked to our community about the fact that we have um ring of pyro scheduled to uh start burning streamer enid um we were hopeful that we were going to start uh burning streamer enid uh starting next week um we're gonna have to postpone that a little bit because the uh, the dev that wrote the contract for ring of pyro and pyro uh, was affected um, pretty greatly by uh, hurricane ian and so uh, we're, we're gonna have to keep you posted on the on the beginning of, of the of the burn for streaming you know but that was that was really the be the, the reason why you know other than you know to talk crypto with you I wanted to uh, talk to you about that too and and um, see how see what you guys felt about that if you had any questions oh thank you for that no we appreciate it. I, I know the dev was affected and and my prayers go to them and uh um, it's absolutely horrible what happened in Florida. If anybody is listening to this and you're in Florida, I, you know, we hope uh, your family is safe, you're safe, family is safe. Safe and sound, safe and sound here. I'm in Florida, I'm in Central Florida, so yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm <laughs> glad you're okay. I'm oh, glad you're okay. Hope everybody yeah. you know is okay as well. I yeah, know, we yeah. had about, I think it was about two weeks before Ian hit. It was, it was about a week out, and I remember talking to Adam on this space, and I'm like, hey, yeah, there's a there's a hurricane out there. It's kind of brewing, and we were talking about everything, and then the week yeah. went by, and I was like, uh, everybody running for cover because it looks like it's heading your way. So It seemed yeah. like a few devs, a few devs from different projects there, they live in the, in the central South Florida area, so it did affect them as well. But, uh, yeah, that's the that's the game plan, and you know we appreciate yes. you coming on. I love to hear all of your information that you that you guys brought forward, and uh, just connected two communities together, and in all the help that you've already done with uh, Pyro and Ring of Pyro, you know, appreciate it like greatly. And so uh, you know, as soon as possible, as soon as we have the ability, we'll flip the switch on Ring of Pyro, and uh, you know, as part of the tokenomics, we'll we'll start to burn. Um, streamer Inu as the volume comes in and uh so yeah looking looking forward to that and looking forward to having a so you're telling me you can push that 15 percent burn to 20 <laughs> i think it can pretty much be adjusted however they want to adjust it so yes we'll have to, we have to talk to the devs to see how they want to do it but i know that they can flip the switch on on pretty much any token in the space uh and 
and uh, and burn three tokens simultaneously. So, as it stands right now, uh, I believe that we're we're uh, actively burning uh, Volt. I could be wrong, but I, I think we're actively burning Volt right now. And uh, and then we also have burned. We've double burned Pyro at one point. So we were every time there was a Ring of Pyro or yeah, Ring of Pyro buy, they were burning Pyro as part of the you know, natural contract, and then Pyro was also getting burned uh, again which is uh, fantastic for, for both communities. Uh, it's kind of a win-win. You know, you get a, you get a buy and, and then you also get burns at the same time. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to, to doing that. And um, let me see what else we got. Uh, you know that uh, we have the, um, the Pyro uh, new logo just came out that everybody was just going absolutely berserk over. You've seen it all over Twitter. I think it's going to be all over the world at some point, to be honest with you. I, I feel like the movement that that Pyro has and the staking contract that we have to offer, I mean, the, the, well, the, the staking contract that's coming in the in the future, but the actual uh, contract that we have out that's that's doing the true burn is just absolutely one of a kind. And um, man, I mean, I want to say that that's the, that's the reason why we're all here. There's a lot of people that... That believe in the burn contracts they all believed in the in the dead wallet burns um and this is just like the new wave of that where you know pyro actually has a dead wallet burn ability and it also has the true burns and um it's it's fantastic i can't say enough about it it's like the token i was waiting for so you sound pretty excited about it pretty yeah, sure we- adam is excited about it too Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think that um, you know, with Pyro, with the with the true burn, and I think with also streamers in terms of having the regular burn, and then also the collaboration, I think it'd be really good. And especially with what streamers has going on, it's just not another project. It just definitely has a lot. I like that reality show, so that will be really good. But I think it's just not just a just a project just burning, but have it burn with a purpose. At least that's yeah. what I see. Like a exactly. burn with a purpose and a community that can really fill that. You know, streamers has a good community. Um, looking at past videos of streamers um, with the Austin and Zach, all those guys there. I remember like around the time, be- I don't know. I mean, you could probably ask this. Um, you guys were on fire. How, how did that feel? Because there was a time where it was, it was pretty lit up in your, your community. And that market cap was going up and up and up. What Tell me how that felt. What was the maximum uh, market cap? Yes. We lose it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm here. So the market cap, I think our all-time high reached um, 30 mil or 32 mil. Um, and what did you start with? <laughs> we started around 10K. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and that's something that a lot of people don't understand. You know, you, you were even even starting in February, you were kind of at the tail end of the you know bull market that we had. That was, you know, what last March, April, then you know consolidated for about six months, then absolute explosion. You know, September, October, November, December. Oh uh, yeah. Flip, you mean last year? December, and then yeah, and then you you guys launched in February. Everybody was still on high. I mean, I remember it was like, oh, no, it's coming back. This is just a little bounce, you know. But I've told the story a million times over the last, like, six, you know, six weeks, month, you know, a few months. And when we're in the Telegram, like, every single thing that was launching at that time, 50 million was no problem. 10 million people were laughing. It was like you, oh, were, yeah. almost, <laughs> you were a failure if you hit 10 million, you know. Oh, 100 million oh, was yeah. a great accomplishment, and 200 was like, oh, yeah. You know, you're making some really big waves. So $30 million from market cap, man, you know, there's a be, there'd be some really excited people in this uh, in this Twitter space right now if we could get to $30 million. That's an awesome accomplishment. I, I think that's one of the struggles that we face of tokens that launched this year. Uh-huh. Um, especially, especially um, we, you know, just like any token, any cycle, um, you start out with a concept, you spread it around, people like it, it gets hyped up, you go through a hype phase where you absolutely shoot in price discovery, and then afterwards you're going to go back down, and until that concept that you started with actually takes effect, and it is as bullish as people always thought it would be, and 
it is exactly what you expected it to be, then you'd go way, way, way up. Like, you know, your past all-time high would be nothing compared to your new all-time high because uh -huh. that's it. Your utility hit, your, you know, your concept is no longer a concept. It's an actual real-life utility. And then, boom. And I have a feeling I think, that's going to happen. It's going to happen with you guys. It's going to happen with us. I think, I think it's going to happen with a million tokens that, that can be that can get through this bear market phase that we're in right now it's going to happen to shiba inu we've already seen it happen with bitcoin and and all these other tokens but man it you know the bear market is for building and that's what you guys are doing and that's what we're doing and that's what all the legit projects in the space that are that are launching with the purpose are doing and it's what you're saying is exactly what's going to happen you guys are just building and building and building and if you only look at the chart you're not doing yourself good service you know because there's i think legit the funny thing you just said that great yeah the funny thing you just said that i think earlier today or yesterday somebody reached out to me and he's like yeah co what the hell did you do with the you with your top 10 20 holders i'm like what do you mean he said that they bought in like 300 days ago and they never even touched their bags and I'm like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, why would you? Why, why would they want to touch their bags? I mean, first of all, uh, I personally know the top 10 or 20 holders of Streamer Inu. And when I first introduced the concept to them, you know, 300 days ago, I, you know, they clearly saw the vision and the mission that we're on. And whether we are at a 2 million market cap or a 30 million market cap, it doesn't matter because it doesn't begin to touch the surface of the potential that this has and yeah. the direction that it's going. And yeah. unfortunately, one of the you know road bumps that we face is that during our hype phase, when we were shooting you know 30 million and past it and we were reversing, that is exactly the moment that Bitcoin and Ethereum tanked and Ethereum went under a thousand. And that unfortunately caused an immediate stop to our hype phase and completely nuked us with the rest of the market. Yeah, and yeah, and nobody was <clears throat> nobody was saved. Honestly, I mean, everybody's I mean, bit down. So I mean, I, I I figured Bitcoin and Ethereum were gonna crash, but I had no idea in 48 hours they were gonna, they were gonna lose 70 percent of their. <laughs> 70% yeah. of their market cap well, in you, just two days. That you was know what they such say. a hard time. You know what they say? It's crypto. You know? <laughs> it is it's just like it, it just like it goes down that fast. It can turn on in a heartbeat. You know? I mean, look at what happened with... Uh, let's just... I'm just going to use SHIB as an example. When it blasted through the moon in April of 2021... And then within like a couple week period, it was already back down to, you know, 0.07. I'm, I'm going to skip all the zeros. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. then it sat there for almost seven, six or seven months, just like dead in the water, you know. But if you were in the community and you were listening, which I was and many others were too, you know, the other 1.2 million holders that they have, that 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 there was a lot of stuff going on you know and you have to just keep fighting through the fud and fight through the market and fight through all the bs and just keep developing and believing what you're believing in you know and that's one of the things that we're dealing with uh right now with pyro and ring of pyro in general is is that we're in the bottom of a bear market and we're grinding it out you know and you get people in the tg that are frustrated or they're you know they're excited a lot of people are excited but some people are not you know they they come in and they want to say stuff and we're like look here's what you got every day when you wake up this is what you have you have the number one ERC token on the planet when it comes to true burns. We're the first of its kind. And in regardless of what the chart says, we're building, we're developing, the staking is about to come out, the new website's coming out, the new logo's coming out. And the best part about it is when I hit Etherscan, I look up there and that, that's max supply wallet keeps dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. And we're heading exactly for where we were going to. You know what I mean? It's just important for your community, our community, all the communities that like that really believe in their token to just have a great word and it's conviction, you know? The word mm -hmm. conviction. Believe in what you're doing. And you don't really have to stress that much, you know? 
You don't have you, to stress at all. You just you just keep believing, and it, it's gonna I, happen. I just think there's, I mean, me included, a lot of folks are going through their first bear market. Yeah, me included. This is this is personally my first bear market. I have not been in crypto more than two years, and I came in at the beginning of the bull market of last year, um, in December of 2020. And yeah. I'm sorry, 21. And um, it's 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 hard. It's it's, it's you know we know you, you know you always heard the news. You always see the history that you know Bitcoin went to a dollar, then went to under a penny, then went to ten dollars, then went back to two dollars. And you know you read about it, you see it, but now you're actually living it, and it's actually your money. Yeah, that's yeah. going up and down. That's, that's just funny. a whole different reality for it. Yeah, right. We had, a, we had a deal in the past where uh, I was talking about, you know, these tokens that had risen and we were kind of like floating on our way down. I was a big part of the cliff community also. And and I remember asking some kind of uh, some people that were in the community that were a little longer in the tooth, like, was anybody around in 2015, 16, 17 when, when they hit bull market or bear market? And I remember this guy, his name was Tom, and he, he uh, popped up. And he was always the one that was sitting back and listening. He was always in it. And I said, really, man, tell me what tell me what it was like. And he said, well, a lot of projects that were big names or they had lots of hype, they fell apart. You know, they were riding the hype train and they didn't have the development behind it or they just, you know, the community didn't have the conviction or whatever it was, you know, that they just didn't work out. And, um, and he said, but the ones that the ones that kept grinding it out and believed in what they were doing, they popped out on the other side. And he said it was just a it was just a long time of just sitting at the bottom and just, you know, day in and day out, just just watching the charts. I, I, I look at it doing I, what you gotta do. So. And I look at it just a project. Also look at there's a lot on less content creators that's actually talking about it as well. It's the it's it's anything else, man. When things are down, who's the ones that's still out there pushing it, you know? Yep. Yep. And then streamers, I don't think you guys have much competition. Is that right? Do you got is anybody else doing what you're doing? None whatsoever. Yeah, not, like the only not, person, not the even only... from the beginning. Not not even the most basic concept of donating to streamers live using crypto. That right. was never there. No. And, 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 never, and, and even now, six months after we came out, nobody nobody did it. And even if somebody would, they would still face the same struggles that we did in the beginning, is that you are a charity token, you are not a business. And I would invest in a business, not in a, uh, you know, donation charity token. So, and I mean, when it comes to a reality show, this is something I pride ourselves with. So, crypto has been around for 12 years. And there, it's, it's not about a coin, just any exchange, any celebrity, any influencer, any, anybody, 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 whether it's Elon, Vitalik, um, CZ, it doesn't matter, whoever it is. Nobody thought about doing a show. Like a crypto, everybody always fights for mainstream adoption. Everybody always wants to push for crypto mainstream adoption. Now, a lot of people have different ways of pushing it. You got CZ over here going around the world, meeting all these leaders and these governments and trying to make them crypto friendly and pro crypto and, uh, and you know, um, <clears throat> regulating crypto, et cetera, et cetera. That's his way of mainstream adoption. You got Elon introducing Doge to the world and then, you know, you can buy Tesla and stuff like that. And now Tesla, SpaceX, they all bought Bitcoin and Ethereum part of their portfolio. They dumped it, they bought it back up, et cetera, et cetera. You got Michael Saylor, constantly buying Bitcoin for the last, what, six, seven years? And, and micro strategy every single time they do a press release. Everybody have their own way in, 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 in mass adoption, the way that they think it would get the mo more people of the world, more people of the population into crypto. But nobody yeah. thought about something that is entertaining because th this is how I look at it, right? If you wanna, I, I, I'm not gonna say if you wanna be a doctor, but I would say if you want to learn about medicine a little bit, if you want to learn about a certain topic a little bit, right now, our generation, and there's no shame in admitting this, really, if you have two options on the table, would you go to a library and read a dozen <laughs> of books for hours and hours, days and days, weeks and weeks, or would you binge watch medical TV shows yeah. like you know House MD Brain's Anatomy 
um, yeah. good doctor, all those things, right? Which one would you go with? I <laughs> tell you, 99.9% uh, of the time, you're going to go binge watch something. You're not going to go read an article. I'm a good of that. And, I'm a good example of that because when I started, my journey here was Google and it was what is crypto? How is how how do I buy it? I mean, even probably might even been just the word. That was it, and then it just like rabbit trail. But I I tend to be you know pretty obsessive when I'm ready to get into something. And the next thing was uh, okay. Well, I pick my first exchange that I don't go to. And then the next thing was man, I just I'm itching for more information. And then I found YouTube. And before I got into uh, you know studying crypto, I I literally had probably almost maybe 10 YouTube videos, watch 10 YouTube videos my whole entire life. Never got on YouTube. And now it was like video after video after video. I, I had it on my phone all day long and I've been listening to them for eight to 10 hours a day while I'm working, just watching video after video. And I, and so it goes back to what you're saying. Like we're, if you want that information, you want to go find it, you're gonna, you're, I didn't go to the library, I can tell you that. I went, I went to YouTube so I could watch it and see it visually and I could hear it and I just essentially just immersed right. myself in it to where I learned it now, you know? Look where I'm sitting. You would, not, you would not believe where I was sitting two years ago. It wasn't here talking to y'all, you know? Oh, for real? <laughs> with, with however many people listening and, and hanging out with people that are developing tokens and stuff. You, I mean, I didn't even know. I love it, man. I love I so. I love it because even with this, you have Pyro first of its kind and you have streamers first of its kind. Exactly. Be- because really streamers, is. you're right, though. Yeah. There's nobody. There were people talking about doing both of these things. A true burn and then a streamers where it's basically your own market. You're like you're doing your own market. So I never really seen too much of that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's no, a great I- deal, man. I think we need to make a connection where you have like. You know, if you get like a certain amount of stream numbers, then that's about your burn. Wasn't there a deal where like Shiv Shiv had it like if you were streaming music, then it would count it, and then he, however many streams they had, that's how many Shiv tokens they would burn. Like maybe we can come up with an idea where if the stream is getting a certain amount or the TV show is getting a certain amount, we can make some kind of connection. That would be that'd be a good idea. Well, you know, I'll tell you something. You know, by this time next year. If we're all still alive and Putin didn't blow us up, right? <laughs> I'll t- I- I'll tell you the number of views this TV show season one got, and then y- you guys can burn it. So, oh man, it- I like that. So, idea. Yeah, so if we got like 10 million uh, worldwide views, 50 million, 100 million doesn't matter. That same amount in tokens, you guys got to burn it. Wow. Nice. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I like that. You know, that that's where that's where my head is at because crypto content out there on streaming services on TV is nothing short than two things. It's either a documentary about something, and I'm not, I don't know what people feel about documentaries, but I'm not a very big fan. And number two, it's some kind of a legendary, you know, myth or some kind of a scam story that's, you know, in the deep web that happened, et cetera, et cetera. But that, that's that's pretty much the extent of where crypto media goes. And we are hoping very much in belief that we are going to be changing that. And we yeah. are going to be the first mover in CTV. I kind and of feel like that's one of the reasons over the last, you know, couple months or I'd say probably last six months, I started to get into more of the macro than the micro uh, as far as just the news is concerned to to have a better understanding of like what's going on with the entire market. And so it kind of leads back to what you're saying. It's like you you have a you have a place now that you can go to get some entertainment at the same time, which is, you know, I found BitBoy Crypto at first. I was like, man, I don't even know what this guy's talking about. Like, I'm just trying to make some money. And now, like, I get it six months or a year later I'm like oh all the things that are talking about are at a much higher level which is basically what's making the market move in general uh, you know cryptozoros is the same way you know and I've, I've been 
talking to the community about both of those. They're, they're great macro shows that help you like understand, you know, things that are going on at the bottom of the market and just in general, you know, to help put things into perspective. So you don't, you don't sit with a chart, you know, that's going flat and then be like, Oh, I'm, I'm out of here. You know, this, this thing is doing nothing. It's like, if you have a better understanding of the big picture, you might stay, you know, because you understand that like, they're all going in that direction right now. So I agree. No, no, I agree. And I think if we really want to talk about charts and numbers, has anybody seen that the freaking gas has been five gooey for like two straight months? Yeah, it's insane. Oh, yeah. Never? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Adam, like, what is up with that? Because I clearly remember when I was trading last year, I had to pay 300 freaking dollars <laughs> for a single transaction. Yeah. For one transaction, yeah. $300. And now yeah, it's basically $5. And yeah, the merge has nothing to do with that. Absolutely, because because it's no. been like that for two months before the merge. Sure. No, yeah, the merge didn't the merge didn't fix scalability. That's going to get fixed uh, long term. The merge, the merge only had to do with uh, efficiency of the of the chain when they switched from you know proof of work to proof of stake. So. Uh, over time, you know, their scalability is going to get better. And I've told the story in the TG a few times that uh, if you ever watch the Led, uh, what is it, Lex Friedman podcast, he does two fantastic interviews with uh, Vitalik. And in one of the interviews, he says that at some point in the near, I don't know if it's going to be in the near future, but, but his goal or ambition was to have eight transactions at less than a penny, which is going to be insane it'd be like the b it'll be like bnb you know so well let's see if he can pull it off i mean so far he pulled up the merge a lot of people oh, thought he was I gonna mean... like rock ethereum but no he kept exactly his yeah no he, he pulled it off he's pulled up building one of the greatest chains in, in crypto history so you know i have no reason to doubt him at this point i'm just having a good time i kind of look at it i kind of look at him as a as an icon in the space for sure mm, yeah Hell, I mean, this gets picked up season one, season two. I'd expect the tie to be one of the cast members at this point. Oh, we need, yeah. we, oh, we need to insane. put this, we need to put that guy out on something I outside of that. Happen, to be honest with you, because if you're going to give us, uh, if you're going to give us a portion of all the views, uh, we can burn it, then um, <laughs> then I'll take it. Yeah, let's get him on there. I'll do what I can to send him text messages and uh, Twitter, Twitter notes so he'll, he'll show up. Yeah. And uh, th this is why it's really, I mean, for me personally, you know, a lot of people for the past six months have always asked me about competition, competition, who's competing you, who's going against you, who's doing something similar, who's, who, who's doing something like this, etc. And for me, in my head, you know, competition is great, it's healthy, you know, it's, it's, it's always been part of our history, but in, in my head, we are all fighting for the same thing, which is crypto mainstream adoption right yeah. i know a lot of people want to make money that's fantastic but in, in the bottom part of anybody who's really true in this space you'd want that same knowledge that you have the same ideas that you have to, for your friends for your family those people who think that crypto is fake money those people who think that crypto is just a scam and those people who think that you're wasting your own money but in reality whether in a bear or bull, you know in 10 years, what we see right now, we're never gonna see again. I mean, yeah. when was the last time we saw Bitcoin on a dollar? When was the last time we saw Ethereum like under a penny? That, yeah. we're, never, we're never gonna go back to that. And in 10 years, we're never gonna go back to these ranges right now. And yeah. he, there's, that's yeah, what we right. want. We want mainstream adoption. We want mainstream Perfect. adoption. So when I'm, I'm coming here and saying that, you know, I would want Vitalik to be on the show. I would want CZ to be on the show. I'd want Elon, Spader, uh, Mark Cuban, you know, all these things. And, and not just celebrities, even even Twitter celebrities like, uh, you know, Zach XBT. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that guy, uh, whether it's... Um, uh, Rayoshi, yeah, let's get that guy. I mean, yeah, why, no why, joke. why else? Because why we're pushing, we're we're pushing for mainstream adoption. It doesn't matter. Oh, this guy has, you know, the BNB coin. This guy has the ship coin. You can't. No, no. Why not? You'd want people to know that this is an entire ecosystem. Crypto is not just Bitcoin. 
right? Th- and this is something that shocked me when we were shooting this um, pilot for Streamer Inu, you know, where uh, we were going in multiple locations in the U.S. We went to New York, we went to Houston, we went to Atlanta, and as we are shooting, we shot once in uh, Times Square, um, and we shot once um, in you know somewhere in Houston. And basically, people come up and be like, "What are you guys doing?" And we're like, "We're shooting this kind of crypto show." They're like, "What is crypto?" And I'm like, "You know, Bitcoin." They're like, "Yeah, we know Bitcoin." And well, hey, that's crypto. But I mean, there's more than one coin. I'm like, "Yes, there is. There, there's there's actually a lot of coins out there." And yeah. uh, you know, you got other folks saying that, um, "Is it man? It's fake? Not just you know, top, that's all." Can't it out. He's losing his mic. Do you know me? I operate easily. Wow, you're back from. It's really. And does no about. I like. Really, I love. I love. You know. Oh, we lost him. Yeah, he's. Uh, can you hear me? Adam. Yeah, I hear oh, you. I'm sorry. Just um, oh, okay. No, no, it's my bad. It's, I just yeah, I think, I think you're bad. bad. <laughs> but, yeah, my bad, my bad. I, I guess my headphones couldn't handle the excitement. No worries. But what, what I'm just trying to say is that I'm not I'm not saying that I would want CZ and all these people on the show because it's going to push my coin and it's going to you know make it skyrocket. It's going to get us listed on Binance. No, it's about showing crypto to the masses in a way that has yep. never been done. This is not a conference. This is not a financial advice. This is not some kind of, uh, um, you know, educational uh, uh, lecture. This is something that's so freaking fun. Like, like uh, imagine, just imagine having Vitalik and Sailor there and, 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 and telling them that, you know, which one is better, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And, and they're just gonna fight with each other right there, you know, or, 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 or getting any kind of comps or, or just getting CZ, right? And putting him in the same room with Ninja which is, you know, the, the famous gaming YouTuber. I'm pretty sure everybody would know him from Fortnite. And and, and, right. and let them talk about it. Like just two random dudes in a bar. And, and capture yeah. that for the show. I think that's I mean, pretty that's freaking fun. That's kind of the idea. That's kind of, I mean, I, I know it's not a new idea, but kind of the idea with this, you know what I mean? It's like, let's just kick, let's just kick this off. Let's just talk, see what's out there. You know, you never know the connections. Look, we already had, we already had a, an idea and a connection. Just by having this conversation, we are already talking about, you know, possibility yeah. of burning pyro through through your uh, CTV. So, man, I mean, I love it. This is, this is what it's all about: is just connecting everybody, and um, you know, uh, we're, uh, mainstream adoption, you know, having just, fun, just, working yeah. together, and most importantly, surviving this damn bear market and not getting blown up by the nukes. Yeah. So make sure you have your undergrounds uh, ready. I think we got it. Probably got to get another, another kid. You know, three to, at least, at least three to six months more. <laughs> and we'll, and we'll see how it goes. You know, but, but conviction is what we got, and uh, and we also have the uh, the greatest burn token in in ERC history. Mm-hmm. You know, in fact, I t- I was talking to uh, in the Telegram today about you know the fact that. You know, we're, we're, we've come so far in only two and a half months, we've already burned, you know, 38.49% of our tokens. And if you count our dead wallet, we're already 40% burned. And our mission is to, you know, get as far as we possibly can down the max supply in order to create that uh, price squeeze that we're all looking for. And, and like I said earlier, you know, we're doing the exact same thing with Ring of Pyro. We're going to start burning, burning streamer Enu. You know, as soon as we can get, as soon as we can flip the switch, that's going to be the next game plan. And, you know, I was really, really looking forward to uh, possibility of working with you more. In fact, I would, I would almost say that we, we would, uh, we would want to try to do another uh, stream at some point or another space just to kind of continue to talk about um, things that we have going on with our community. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm pretty sure we can schedule a space after we land a deal with a network, and we can, you know, pop the champagne yeah, together. Awesome. Yeah. Well, before we, uh, we we take up too much more of Adam's time, which we truly appreciate you allowing us to get on to your, sure, on no your problem. space, Adam. You're such uh, a nice no guy, Adam. Yeah, really... yeah <laughs> man. I, I well, great projects, collaboration. It's uh, entertaining. And then the people can understand what streamers are all about and then learn about Pyro for the first time. 
Yeah, pyro and ring of pyro. You know, um, for, and yep. for some of y'all, yeah, for some of y'all that don't know, and ring of pyro. Uh, this, of course. This week we uh, we launched a new logo with the help of uh, with our boy Cove here, and uh, we're working on yeah. A platform where I've been getting uh, many updates, a little sneak peeks of what's going on behind the curtain here on our staking platform. The DAP is um, the DAP is 100% finished. It's just waiting for integration. The new websites and the final stages are review. Uh, again, we're just waiting for integration. And then once we get the uh, contracts finalized, we'll, we'll put them all together and we'll, we'll launch the staking platform. So everybody's like super pumped up about, about that. And um, yeah. Yeah, just continuing to push and push and push. So, like I said, I just want to say thanks to you. I want to say happy birthday to Yawn World. Yawn has been just a, a, an outstanding, fantastic, huge critical portion to uh, all of our success with Pyro. And uh, thank you to Cove and thank you to Streamer Inu. Um, and thank you to everybody else who's listening. I, before we get off, also, I want to say that if you're listening, please, uh, if you can, like like the you know the, the space. If you can share it on YouTube, if you can go to Adam's channel and you can like it and subscribe and just anything that you can possibly do to push um, our message out from Pyro and Ring of Pyro and also the message from Streamer He Knew, that would be uh, fantastic. Absolutely. And we got streamers in you uh, website right above the chat. You guys can check it out as well. Um, and then also we have Pyro is there as well. So this is uh, we need to do this more in terms of like connecting, collaborating. Absolutely, man. This was awesome. I, I could I could feel a completely different energy today. You know, I mean, I'm kind of like Cove. I can just talk until I'm blue in the face about my project. <laughs> but it's nice to hear a different side of the of the of the story and then the fact that streamer he knew is doing something that's so like innovative in the space uh we may be talking to the next crypto icon you know once this show launches you just never know what's gonna happen so it's been nice talking with you Cody. it's been really nice talking to you guys and i, I just want to clarify one thing uh with adam adam posted our llc website so we actually have three websites sorry for the confusion we have the streamer we have the streamers united live which was a our LLC registered in Dubai and we have our sh- oh yeah we have our show's website which is going to be called memes to millions dot tv <laughs> you got a couple of websites yeah we, we yeah. actually have three websites yeah so um we have memes to millions we're also you know memes to millions on twitter and our website so check it out um check the pictures check the medium article get a you know read about it if you're wondering what a tv show would look like we have a medium article published of a one pager that's used for actually pitching to Netflix and other networks. So you can give it a read, get to know the characters, get to know the storyline, and hope you enjoy it. And if you want to watch some of it, make sure you join our Telegram community. Awesome. Yep. Same for us. You can read, you can find us at PyroToken uh, erc.com. And um, if you want to hear all crypto all day, all pyro all day, you can uh, you can find me at Global Crypto Seven 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 on Twitter. All right. We'll see everybody next time. All right. Thank you so much for hosting this space, Adam. And thank you, everybody, for coming in. All right. Thank you. Have a great night.